Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Getting a bit excited about my intro there. Today I thought we could talk about why psych wards over medicate patients. So personally I was in hospital for a year and I got put on, I went from being on 0.5 milligrams of haloperidol to 10 milligrams of haloperidol, which ha has helped like, massively, like now, now it's, now it's in my system, it is brilliant and it doesn't sedate me at all. Um, the clonazepam was a problem in hospital. Now most hospitals try to medicate people to a point where they're manageable. My symptoms when I was in hospital were very manic, out of control, impulsive and as a consequence of that I was put onto a section 3 and I was heavily sedated. I was put onto 2 milligrams of clonazepam 4 times a day, 2 milligrams of lorazepam twice a day and then lorazepam 1 milligram PRN. I was put on regular Zopiclone back in the days when I could take Zopiclone I can't take it anymore because I hallucinate on it but I've got a theory about why they over medicate people I think they over medicate people genuinely to try and slow them down so that the staff can just do nothing for me I was so heavily sedated that I was in bed all the time I I struggled to do stuff. Um, the staff dyed my hair for me. I, d I had to sit in the shower chair and they dyed my hair for me while I was in hospital. I had many colours of hair and I got up to eat and I got up for medication. So my theory is they over medicate people because they're easy to manage when they're medicated. Why does, my f why does it keep focusing there? There's nothing there. Unless it's a ghost. Well, that's concerning. In London, however, every hospital I've been in has medicated me. For example, let's go to Springfield Mental Health Hospital. I was in Ward 2? Ward 3? I can't remember. And they increased my quetiapine to 600 milligrams and I couldn't, I just couldn't function on it. I'd take it and then I'd fall asleep, so much so that when the fire alarm was going off because someone set fire to the mattress, I didn't wake up. That's the level of sedation I was under, which is scary. The only reason I man I woke up to that alarm was because I was on one to one. The entire admission I was on one to one. I mean, what the fuck? But hey, I, I literally went from being on a section two, on one to one, on a high dose of medication to discharge, which ended up in a, a, a suicide attempt. But I was heavily sedated. I had quetiapine 600 milligrams, lorazepam 2 milligrams, clonazepam 0.5 milligrams four times a day, zopiclone. What else was I on? I was on something else as well. Then the vaccine. Over medicating people is so popular in hospitals. I don't know what it is about that. I just. Every hospital I've been in while I've lived in London has medicated me. And sometimes I've only been inpatient because I tried to kill myself. Not because I was hearing voices or psychotic or manic. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the Grown Family. And yeah, we're nearly at 6.5k. Let's hit it. Share this video, check out the Facebook page or Facebook group. Links in the description. Check out my Patreon, which I will link in the description down below. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.